Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Gardening in Cold Spring Harbor. I'm in Long Island, New York, Zone 7A. Another beautiful, sunny summer day here in Long Island, New York. Before it gets way too hot and too humid, like it has been here every single day, I decided to come out here to my front yard, guys. And what I want to do today, guys, today I want to pot two more summer containers summer 2023 containers right over here in front of me in front of this beautiful bench area that me and my husband built in the middle of our front yard i have two containers as you can see and they're way overdue for new summer flowers so i thought that by popping these babies into the containers I'm going to add an insane amount of beautiful summer color, not only to my containers, but also to my front yard. So join me today, guys, in this video as we pot these summer containers together. For those of you who are looking for that online channel that offers tips, tricks, easy, yet proven gardening advice to take your home garden to that next level, stick around, guys. Click the subscribe button below. And those of you who never want to miss any of my gardening videos, don't forget that bell icon as well. YouTube will notify you every time I'll upload a new gardening video. Now come with me. Let's pot up these summer 2023 containers in my front yard. So in my front yard, my husband and I decided to create this sitting area about a year and a half ago. We cut out the grass, added some Belgian block as a border, some gravel on the bottom we got this beautiful bench that people could sit on in our front yard we got this beautiful european style outdoor lamp planted some hosta a gorgeous limelight hydrangea tree and of course i placed these two outdoor containers on the sides over here I have one on one side of the bench, an identical one on the other side of the bench. As you could see, they did have some flowers in them from the spring season. However, they are done, as in they look very dead. And this, these pots are definitely overdue to be replanted, repotted with some beautiful summer flowers, which is exactly what my goal is for this morning is to fill up these containers with some beautiful summer annual flowers. As much as I love potting up my containers, planting fruits, vegetables, berries, there are also a few gardening tasks that I'm not a big fan of. However, a gardener's job is never done. I also see a few weeds growing over here in my gravel. Even though I have a weed prevention fabric underneath some weeds do manage to make their way into my home garden so I will be getting rid, rid of these um, un unwanted unsightly weeds as well after I'll pot up uh, my containers as you could see guys this beautiful bench area that we built is not that far from the intersection there which brings me to the next point as to why I picked out the flowers that I did to pot up my containers with. And let me explain to you exactly why I picked out these specific flowers and these specific colors. So I picked out two flowers, two annuals to place in these containers. So the first uh, flower is called Angelonia. It is a tall flower, has these beautiful deep purple um, colors on it so let's see if there is a tag so this is a dark purple angelonia full sun required and it does get to a height between 12 and 14 inches which is 30 to 35 centimeters and I picked this color for the height and the dimension purposes as I will be planting this taller plant next to this beautiful bright pink wave petunia guys i love the color and how deep 
how bright it is, the fragrance. And I love how the petunia, the wave petunia, is shorter than the angelonia, of course, and it will create that wave effect when planted around or near the angelonia. I think the colors also do complement each other very nicely. And by picking colors that are very bright, very vibrant, I think they're going to make a stunning visual effect in my container when people are either walking or driving by on the road. They're going to see this dimension and the pop of color almost instantaneously, which is why I decided to pick such bright and vibrant colors for these containers. Let's get these containers emptied out. As you could see, they are way overdue. Most of the flowers in them, the previous flowers, are dead. There is nothing that can or will be salvaged. I like to use annuals for my containers because this way I can alternate my plants with every season. So depending on the season, I go to a garden center and I pick out the annuals that are in season and that would give me that instant pop of color versus perennials. Once perennials are done blooming, you would have to cut them back almost to the soil level and wait till next year until the perennials come back. And I do not want my pots to be sitting empty while we wait for these perennials to come back the following year. Once the old plants are gone, I like to go in thoroughly with my hands, loosen up the soil. If I find any more roots or debris, of course I get rid of it as well. I wanna make sure that my soil is nice and loose and there will be absolutely nothing in there that can interfere with the new plants root system. I want to give them plenty of room to grow and to be happy here. Hopefully these containers will last me till fall season, which will be the next set of containers. Once I cleared out all the debris from the soil, I've loosened up the soil with my hand. The next step is to amend the soil in this container with a Spoma Organic Biotone Starter Fertilizer. I have lots and lots of praise and respect for this particular fertilizer. You guys have seen me use it many, many occasions in my previous videos, especially when I'm planting or repotting my uh, plants, my flowers, whether they're annuals or perennials. This uh, starter fertilizer definitely gives my plant's root system that boost that it needs when you're either planting or transplanting. Because remember, your plant might be in stress from being planted or replanted or transplanted, especially in the summer when the humidity is high, air temperatures is high. You want to make your plants feel as comfortable as possible and less stressed so the kind of the best start the best chance in life for those of you who are not familiar with the spoma organic biotone starter fertilizer or maybe you guys have seen it before but are not sure where to purchase it i'm going to link it below in the comment section the biotone starter is available on amazon as well as Home Depot, as well as many other family-owned nurseries and garden center. It is a pretty um, common and a popular product that's available for sale, but I'm going to link it below. There are very clear instructions in the back of the bag as to how much to add and when, but I like to just sprinkle uh, the bio biotone visually, depending of course on the size of the container. You wanna make sure that all of your soil gets this product. And once I add it, I manually mix it in with the soil using my hands. 
Now that the soil has been amended with biotone, it's time to position our plants just to get a quick glimpse of what the container essentially would look like when complete. I still, guys, I cannot get over the stunning purple color, guys, of these flowers. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And look how nice and tall it's going to look in, this, in the center of this container. Here you go, guys. The plants are not planted just yet. I position them briefly inside the container to give myself as well as you guys the visual glimpse of what the final outcome will be. I love how the height of Angelonia complements so well with the color and, of course, the height of the wave petunia. Also, the purple matches the pink beautifully. So as you could see, I placed the brighter flowers, the pink flowers, closer to the side of the road there because I want the people who are driving by or walking by to notice, to see this pop of bright pink color for visual presentation purposes. I think these are gonna be stunning and they will definitely uh, catch lots of attention here on the corner. So let's get these guys potted up. So two of the three plants are in. And I quickly want to mention that before I place any plants or flowers in my containers, I also sprinkle some Biotone starter fertilizer into the hole where I will be putting my plant prior to putting the plant in. Each plant should get that boost to their root system. So now I'm just going to place my last plant in this container here you go guys one container is fully fully done and i wanted to show you from all the angles what it looks like here would be the visual from the road that i've been talking about so you could see how the pink just pops and then the purple angelonia gives that dimension and the depth to this container so now I'm just going to work on my second container and make it essentially identical to this one, the first one. Here you go, guys. Both of my containers have been potted up. As you could see, they look exactly the same. Again, in both containers, I faced the bright pink wave petunia towards more towards the side of the roads. So again, for physical presentation and for that pop of color and now one more thing I wanted to mention guys in case I haven't mentioned this in my previous videos when I go to garden centers or nurseries to pick out plants or flowers for my containers the first thing that I think about is the location of my containers I always think full sun part sun shade and I make sure that the flowers that I pick out will be happy living being planted in the location where i am planting so this area over here in my front yard is a full sun location right now this early in the morning you do see some shade but in the next hour or two this area gets way over eight hours of sunlight per day so these flowers are full sun loving plants which is exactly why I picked these flowers to be in these particular containers and of course as I mentioned last but not least let's get rid of all these unsightly weeds for those of you who might be wondering why am I pulling weeds by hand as you guys know I have kids and animals in my home and I am a big fan of using only organic products and organic gardening methods. So I do not want to be spraying any sort of poisonous weed control anywhere around my house. Also, when getting rid of weeds by hand, I do make the best effort to make sure that when I pull the weed out, I pull it out with the root system because I don't want this weed to just regrow here in a matter of a few days. I know some of you might be thinking that this is much more tedious 
much harder work rather than just going to Home Depot or a garden center and purchasing some weed control such as ortho. But again, guys, I do not want to be using any poisonous a cancer causing chemicals anywhere near my home so i as a gardener sometimes put a little more effort but i do things uh, healthier safer and of course organically this is it for this video you guys thank you so much for joining me here on this beautiful summer day in long island new york zone 7a today i got up and out of my home very very early so i can pot up these beautiful summer containers in my front yard if you guys enjoyed watching this video show me the support by clicking thumbs up below leave your comments below guys i love reading your comments and communicating with you my fellow gardeners if you have any pictures of your pots or containers to add please share them with me i would love to see what your containers look like and for those of you who are enjoying the content of my videos but haven't yet subscribed to my gardening channel, do so today, guys. It's super easy. Just click the subscribe button below. And if you want YouTube to notify you every time I'll upload a gardening video, click that bell icon as well. You will get notified by YouTube every time I'll upload a new gardening video. Stay healthy, happy, be safe guys and happy gardening and I'll see you again in my new upcoming gardening videos. Bye guys!